Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will continue to create something new, something interesting and this tutorial mostly about the tiles. How you can create the tiles in real uh, project like a Revit interior project. How you can create for example uh, this kind of tile texture. All everything about the tiling in this tutorial. Let's get started. Here I have the some sample project as you can see and this on the side this area actually this is toilet and let's say I want to make tile beside this side as you can see this is on 3d I want to create here the tile doesn't matter where you want to do that it's it's only your choice and maybe in your project but I want to make on these two walls so the first thing what I will use for create the tile I will use of course the curtain wall yeah curtain wall possible to use uh, to create um, the tiles so this is nothing wrong just you should follow the some way to not do the some clash detective thing so let's I will go to the um, the curtain wall I will use the standard one curtain wall as you can see nothing else and first I will go to the edit type let's go to the edit type and what we're gonna do right now right now we will duplicate it and we will say this is will be tile uh, tile um, maybe you can say like this will be toilet okay so I did it uh, tile for the toilet I say okay and now I can start to create my tile let me I will create my tile and as you can see my tile now already exactly following the line so it's not connecting and it's not outside uh, from this line how you can do that actually pretty easy let's uh, I will select this tile again uh, and I will go to the mm, I mean see this panel uh, let me I will select by tab key this panel uh, it's sometimes a bit hard to, s to do that maybe I will do it on the 3d I will select this panel as you can see glazing panel I will go to the edit type and here you will find the offset maybe if you will start from the scratch the your offset will be like 15 and as you can see this is a bit offset from the boundary and it will be like that if you know one of that that gap just select your panel type of your panel go to the edit type and say how much you want here so I have as you can see thickness 3 7 millimeter so it means I need to write the half from this 7 millimeter so it means 3.5 once you will do 3.5 it will be exactly laying on your uh, surface let me I will uh, select my wall again and don't forget unjoin your joystick right click disable join so why are we doing that because if I will start to create my second wall from the another side here it not will be automatically connect so I will show you what's going on if it will be like that but if you have um, this join you able to change position just select your wall let's say where is the my wall here is the my wall select this uh, uh, let's I will do the same thing here disable join you will get this small icon it means you disable your join and now you can uh, place it whenever you want and it node will join it and it you know will get any clash detective so maybe you not will get any some mat uh, some uh, extended materials because we're trying to calculate our materials right so and that's why like this and like this as you can see exactly placing on the right side and we get here the small gap it's okay for us so we did it one one thing already finished now or our panels link exactly on the wall the second thing we should divide it let me I will select uh, again this curtain panel I will go to the 3d and I will show you what's going on I already selected as you can see I'm going to the edit type and here you can see the layout let me I'll select it and I'll say fix the distance as you know the some standard tiles it's like 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters so I will do the same 200 millimeters by 300 millimeters and I'll say apply okay okay and as you can see here is my panel yes now on this stage you can say finish your workers finish 
uh, you did everything and maybe this is pretty cool but we actually not finishing because uh, we should making the gap between the panels right now we don't have any gap between the but you cannot see it properly uh, let's create the material for our panel right so we will go to the manage to go to the material and let's create the new material and this material we will call it uh, something something differently where is the my new material let's name this material like the tile concrete panel doesn't matter and the main thing this is the image so yes you will use the images maybe a real one i already have one um, it's here as you can see so this is a real um, the texture 200 by 300 millimeter let's maybe go to the image right click image and you have here uh, should choose your image where is the my image it's uh, here let me select it again the small this button edit an image and go here the scale so scale should be, be exactly 300 by 300 i don't want to get any mistakes so this is will be 200 by 300 done and uh, by the graphic we also can make some pattern if you want i want so let me i will go to the pattern i will use the model one i will choose for example this one and i will edit uh, edit it let me i will edit it and i will say this is not anymore 200 this is 300 millimeter and i will do 300 by 300 millimeter so it doesn't matter which type of the graphic we will use we always will have some of the texture let's say okay we did it so what's going on right now now we should apply our material new material to the our panel let's i will select this panel as you can see this is curtain glazed panel i will use the edit go to the duplicate and I will say tile concrete. This is, will be a tile concrete. And what we're gonna uh, change? We will change the material. Let's change the material. We already did one material, and let's use it. Where is the my uh, concrete uh, concrete um, tile concrete material? It's, is it tile? I think it's tile. I will use the T tile and it's here tile concrete panel let me select let's say okay let's say okay so we did it as you can see one panel it's already changed you have a lot of ways how you can change all the panels but i know i have only two uh, kind of this wall and i will use the right click select select everything inside the project and change all this to the panel this is not right way but you can do it manually you can change it by edit type so this is a lot of the ways and as you can see we did it so the one thing once you will scroll or more uh, zoom it in as you can see we can you cannot see any gap between two tiles this is mistake because we always have the gap between tiles and if you are doing the interior project this is really important how we can do that you have two ways you can change the type of the your uh, panel you can create some special panel or you can change the type of your mullion and we will use the second way we will change type of the mullion we will create our own one and we will use it like a gap between the two tiles for that one we should go to the file new one family and it will save it and here we should find the mullions let me I will find the mullions this is a profile mullion it's here let me say okay here is interior part, here is the exterior part, we wanna place it on the exterior part, so we will start draw here, before I will start draw I will always use the reference play planes, let me will create some reference planes, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, reference planes. After that, wh what we gonna do, we need, um, let me think, let me think, let me think. 
yeah we will do like that we will do like that and we will I add one more panel let me I will use dimension always I will make it equally and here always will be also equal the one baddest thing I should change the scale to the 1 to the 5 because uh, actually this is not properly see what's going on what I need one dimension and I need the second dimension the first dimension will be like let's say this is will be T and will be instance doesn't matter which type of the name you will use uh, only just for you if you understand what's going on with this naming it's everything all right okay I did the same naming here the second thing I will go to creation line here we will draw just only line I will draw one line I will draw another line and I will draw one more line as you can see only three lines now I will use the align key and I will align this uh, plane to this line and lock it the same thing here lock it and same thing same here lock it now I will what I will use I will select this line I will use this uh, small joystick and I will extend it till the next line and lock it the same thing here extend to the next line and lock it the same with this line don't don't be lazy make it you should lock it everywhere and let's lock it on this side okay so one more time with that side as you can see here it's hard use the top key and lock it and yeah I just uh, using the top key to find this line and lock it now we will do one more thing we will go to the for line after that I will use this some special line center and arc let's use it the, here is my center and I will start create from this side to that side oh sorry one more time that side to that side done I will select this arc just don't forget about the center mark visible because our center mark visible will help us to lock it and as you can see we lock it select our arc and let's lock the these two sides done actually done the next thing I will go to the properties and I will say this is will be like three millimeters by three millimeters done and as you can see here we get the small thing actually this is our gap uh, let me I will save it I will save it and I will say this is will be gap and now I will load it inside to the project here is our as you can see uh, here is our sample project let's load it inside of this project now I will go to the 3d you cannot see any changes because it isn't any changes right now I will go to the file oh sorry to the arc and here I will find the mullions let me I will use some mullions I have here some mullion like 10 by 9 by 8 millimeter let's use it and let's place it and as you can see our mullion is really big because this is not actually the mullion which we created uh, we will use this one like a duplicate so I will select on that go to the edit type go to duplicate and call it gap or some uh, uh, as you want doesn't matter so this is will be gap after that I will change the uh, profile as you can see here is the profile mullion profile rectangular but I will change to the hour one gap and as you can see one and one half millimeter let's say okay and what you can see here you can see our gap if you will select our mullion and if you will go to the edit type you can make it offset because now as you can see it's uh, so much deeper maybe you want to make make it offset I think it's five millimeter pretty enough yeah exactly the five millimeter maybe 5.5 .5. let's try it yes 5.5 .5 it's exactly as you can see here is our gap between two panels so what we're gonna do next you can place it manually this is will be okay or you can do another thing just select let's I will go to the uh, I will go to the uh, to the plan and I will select for example this side you can select your curtain wall go to the edit type and here you will find layout oh, interior type and interior type for the horizontal and vertical one 
let me I will change from the non to the gap and I will change to the non to the gap let's say okay here is the magic now we get it everywhere with some small distance between two of them and now it's correct if you will select your panel you will see this is a bit cutted yeah this is true uh, sometimes uh, we know we cannot get exactly 300 millimeter but if you want to get here exactly 300 millimeter panel you should making uh, a bit bigger your panel I mean you will select your curtain wall you will go to the edit type and you not will write here just 300 you will write here the 303 and 303 now your pen your uh, panel will be exactly 300 millimeter as you can see exactly 300 millimeter just don't forget about the gap so as you can see by this way you can create really uh, interesting thing uh, this one yes physically this is curtain panel but you can now calculate how many uh, for example tiles you have and we can do that so if you want count for example your panels this is pretty easy you just go to the schedule new schedule and find here the curtain panels here is the curtain panels say okay and now use what you want for example you want to count you want to type and maybe you want a height of that width and height where is the height somewhere here somewhere here let me find the height curtain panel height here okay so we have like few parameters here the count will be last one and I will sort it by let's say family and type I will use the header and I will itemize by every instance and I will stack it by uh, height let's say by height let's say okay and now we can see now here is the our tiles as you can see tile concrete and now we know it like we have the tiles concrete the with this this height eight panels with this height 64 panels so you can do any anything now what you want but you exactly know how the many uh, the tiles you should collect you should buy it just to create this uh, interior design as you can see Revit uh, pretty well working uh, with the interior design solutions uh, you can find a really interesting result if you are doing the interior design I think uh, if you are interested about the interior design I can tell you more how you can use the Revit for that but for the now it's finished and see you soon guys